Athens. Now, the last six weeks, they've watched the U.S. Nationals, the Olympic Trials, and finally, a series of competitions right here at the ranch that ended just a short time ago. Thirteen gymnasts came here and competed in those competitions, all of them taking advantage of a last chance to prove that they are worthy of making this Olympic team. In just a short time, they will come out and sit in these bleachers and find out if all of their hard work is paid off. Are they in or are they out? 35 minutes from now, Marta Caroli makes the team announcement. We will be back to bring Bring it to you live right now. Let's send you back to Sacramento. National Forest just off this dirt road at the Caroli Ranch in New Waverly, Texas. That road, we've seen snakes on that road. It seems like we're far from the real world, but in just a few moments, a real life drama will unfold here. The announcement of the women's Olympic gymnastics team. Now, the selection committee led by team coordinator Marta Caroli is still behind closed doors. They've been in there a little over two hours. The math is simple. 13 gymnasts, six spots on the team for these young women here at the ranch. Today will either mark the end of a lifelong dream or the beginning of a truly spectacular adventure. For all of them, though, this has been a stressful, pressure-packed process. It's July at Camp Caroli. Over 200 campers from across the country come here to get trained by the most famous gymnastics family in the world. Just down the hall from the regular campers, 13 women came here on Tuesday to prove themselves one more time. They've gone through the national championships and the Olympic trials. This week, their fate is in the hands of three women. Three women who will pick the Olympic team. Certain spots look to be sewn up. Courtney Coupets, Courtney McCool, and Carly Patterson know they have all but made it. But for the rest, this week was their last shot. They usually perform in front of thousands, but this week it was a room full of campers and a watchful eye. Take Holly Weiss. She's the reigning co-world champion on the bars. If she's going to make it, this event is won. Chelsea Memel shared that world championship with Holly, but with similar strengths, it may be a showdown for one spot. Injuries have kept her from competing for the last three months. Today was her day to show she was ready. If the U.S. is going to win team gold, they are going to need to bring a specialist on the vault. Liz Tricasse wants to be that girl. But there are others ready to make their case to Marta Caroli in the selection committee, like 26-year-old Anya Hatch, a former world medalist on the vault. Then there's 25-year-old fan favorite Mohini Bahardwaj, looking to finally make the Olympics she's been chasing since 1996. The addition of two specialists leaves room for one more all-around gymnast. Karen Humphrey was on the world championship team that won gold and has been a consistent performer all year. But Elisa Shino may have blossomed at the perfect time. Tasha Schweikert is the only one who's been to an Olympics before. Will her experience be enough? Thirteen women. Six spots. The competition is over. Who will be on Marta Caroli's Olympic team?
Well, the wait is just about over, but you have to believe that these minutes are going by excruciatingly slow. Andrea Joyce back at uh, the Caroli Ranch. I'm joined by Tim Daggett and Alfie Schlegel. Alfie, I see a lot of game faces out there, but what's really going on on the inside? Well, I have to tell you, first of all, they are uh, just so tired and probably very relieved that this process has finally come to an end, physically, emotionally drained. But I bet you any money that they're sitting there just replaying all those routines from the numerous months of competition and selection process and, and just wondering, was it enough to make this team. And so, Tim, for this selection committee, the biggest challenge is what? Well, the challenge is that they are so deep. This U.S. team is just so good. When the team is selected, I believe that they will be leaving home an athlete that is a legitimate contender on an individual event to win an Olympic medal. But from the beginning, USA Gymnastics has said the priority is the team. And with a new team folk format at the Olympic Games, where it will be three up, three count, that means that every score is critical there is no room for error. They're back in that room. They're discussing the six athletes that will put together the 12 best routines for that team final. That's your Olympic team. And it looks like they've made their decision. They're getting ready to come back out and come back into the gym. Marta Caroli with the team announcement when we return to the Caroli Ranch in New Waverly, Texas. This is where those... And at this time, I would like to announce the 2004 Olympic team. The two athletes who already were qualified, Courtney Kupets and Courtney McCool, they proved their readiness. Congratulations, you're part of the team. Kupac is a 2003 World Team Gold Medalist and Courtney McCool a 2004 All-Around Gold Medalist in Athens Test Event. Beside these two excellent athletes, the following athletes qualify to the team. Carly Patterson. championship with team silver medalist all around. Uh, Terran Humphrey. <laughs> 2003 World Team gold medalist with the team. Mohini Baharwaj. Okay. World Team Medalist, Anya Hatch. <laughs> 2003 World Team Gold Medalist. And we named three replacement athletes. And we hope we don't need to replace any of the athletes, but we know it can happen. We wish we would not, but we have to have extremely strong athletes who will be able to stay in a preparation. They will travel to Athens and will be in our training camps. And that, those athletes are Alice Oshino. Medalist Tasha Schweikert, 2000 Olympic team member, and Chelsea Mammel, 2003 gold medalist on even bars. Congratulations! There is Holly Weiss, who I did not make the team. She again. struggled today in the competition on beam. Please keep up working. Carly Janica. Coming up next year. We need Liz you. Liz Tricasse. The gymnastics community need you. Thank you. Anybody else? Probably the biggest surprise of all on this team, Anya Hatch, the vault specialist. 
the coaches of the team. Yeah. Let's go over to Tim and Elfie now for their thoughts. Guys? Well, I think that the biggest surprise is that they it really, it was a little bit of a departure in what they had been saying all along. They had thought that they were going to have both a bars and beam specialist and then a floor and vault specialist. But I think after looking at the numbers very closely, they decided that vaulting, they could mm -hmm. gain the most valuable tents by bringing in two super strong vaulters. Oh. And that could make the difference. Anya Hatch and Mohini Bahardwaj, they yeah. both fill that build. Yeah, and, and also, Tim, uh, you had mentioned um, members and Vice, two world team members that could potentially uh, medal uh, in an individual event. That's not going to happen. But let's remember, this team is made up of three members who were representing the United States last year at the World Championships. They know what it feels like to win a gold medal. And this is the team. This is the team that everybody will be chasing. This is a strong team. They are the ones going in to Athens as the favorites. Yeah, there's no question about that. It is uh, in 1996 with the Magnificent Seven. Uh, they won the Olympic gold medal in the team championships for the first time. This group of athletes is truly more deep and more dominant than even that 1996 Olympic team. Let's go back to Andrea. And that's it, your 2004 U.S. Women's Olympic Gymnastics team. For a closer look at the team and get more video and analysis from Elfie, plus Tim's take on the men's team finalized on Thursday, it's only at NBC olympics.com that's it from the caroli ranch right now we want to send you back to tom hammond in sacramento sacramento